Like, he has a nice little, he has a nice little walk. And they talked about with Alex Straza how they worked on the tech that allowed you to angle their head. But as you turn, his head leans into it. If you can make that even turn, he doesn't look like he's just, you know, spinning in place. Now you can break it, of course, but that sort of stuff is just really awesome to me that there's any sort of lead. on any of this not too big he's just right he's just right tromping around got a handsome shadow will be the first not the biggest auto the attack in the world and let's see let's uh go on over to ionic storm See if we can get it. Looks like they've already added him. Get some units. AA damage. Got Stukov. Alright. Looks like Deathwing isn't in here yet, but we have 170. Oh. Well, that's pretty good, right? Level 1 AA damage. We got one 170. You're almost at the Thrall Ragnaros. What's our attack speed? Basic attack range. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I have borne That's solid. Well, oh, maybe it won't be your number one plan. I assume he's along the range of like Leoric and the like. Oh, looks like he's a unique boy. With 2.5. No other 2.5. So we got Kira. And Leoric's at 2. Has a little bit of a, a little bit of a delay on it, but nothing, you know, Sylvanas levels. Still not thrall. It's not insta flying, but you can get out that little bite. Now here's the here's the question: two claws and a bite. Oh, there we go. D and D fans unite. Two claws and a bite. Nicely done, Blizz development team. That's very awesome of you, whether you know it or not. It's exactly what you should have done. Yeah, we got uh, armor, both types. Movement speed is normal. That's kind of interesting, actually. I would expect him to move a little slower to make him feel lumbering. But sounds like the right thing to do. All right, well, let's start digging. Got a lot of health. What was it? 3,329 to health. At level one, 3,000. Yeah, wow. So we're above stitches. But they did say in his video there, voiced by Kevin, no less. They got, I mean, Cloak and, you know, he went out to be an actor and whatnot. So I'm glad he's acting. He should keep doing the voice of this one. He's got a good voice for it. Okay, let's dig in. What what form am I in? I, uh, I am in Aspect of Death is my total trait. Deathwing is fitted with zero armor plates, which grant, I assume four, not zero, but whatever. Every 25 health loss causes Deathwing to lose a plate. Plates are only restored when Deathwing's flight or death dragon dragon flight is used. Based on the amount of health Deathwing has when landing. Deathwing is also a mighty dragon aspect who is permanently unstoppable and deals 100% spell damage to heroes. Oh, so his auto attack isn't decreased. Well, I guess that's how Alarak works. So no big surprise, but still interesting. But views his allies with contempt and ignores any of their friendly effects. <laughs> I like that they added that in there. Well, this is a heroic target. So, but I can assume then that since it's spell damage, like Alarak, our auto attack will remain decently beefy. This is our form switch. 20 second cooldown switches Deathwing between Destroyer and Worldbreaker forms, each granting access to two unique basic abilities. Incinerate damages enemies around Deathwing and Onslaught allows him to lunge at enemies. Lava Burst create a slowing area effect and Earth Shatter stuns enemies in two lines. So we are currently in... I, I, I'm not sure. But I have Molten Flame... And in, and, oh, okay, so both of these have Molten Flame. So no matter what form, you have Molten Flame. 
Incinerate and Onslaught means I am in Destroyer form. Oh, a nice little color color code. Oh, that's, that's a nice touch. Maybe they picked that up from uh, Pillars of Eternity and the like. Okay, so Molten Flame. Energy 10. Uh, I have 100 energy. Cooldown 3 seconds. After 1.5 seconds, Deathwing breathes a stream of flame, dealing damage. Tiny, tiny, tiny damage. Every second. Oh, well, e oh, never mind. Every point one two five seconds draining 30 energy per second okay so no that that should be fine damage oh very cool nice wind up good good light effects on that neck that's pretty damn cool that's pretty cool but i am out of energy i am regenerating energy where does it say how fast i get energy back i guess it doesn't but that is the rate in which it goes. Oh, here it is. Five energy a second. Okay. So well, let's say I want to do a little baby flame. Oh, I have to hit Q to exit it. So there may be some Deathwing mistakery available, but ultimately, looks like I can breathe for a maximum time of my full energy, but looks like I am stuck in a sort of global cooldown to load up and then one second of being forced to breathe. So get yourself out of position and into trouble. Nice little T-Rex roar in there too. Okay. Pretty sweet. I'm down. I love the wind up. What's the size on this baby. All right. So it makes a pretty decent size. I mean, we're so big that all these sizes are going to seem a little small. Incinerate. Energy 15. Okay, cool. So, more things cost energy than my Molten Flame. Actually, before we move on, let's get some minions out here. And let's see what a lane clear looks like. Oh! Almost precise. Oh, there's our little XP orbs at work. More on that later. So we do full damage to buildings with my auto attacks. What's a good old sideways breath look like? And not not entirely rocking. But that's to be expected. That's the control they have done with the aspect of death. With my mighty dragon aspect business. Well, this is probably more common of what's going to happen is the front will come together for a little bit. I'll show up, want to clear it really fast. And they've calculated it out to be almost perfect to what uh, doesn't kill the archers and wouldn't kill the front guys either because they have more health, but they're currently under attack by other things when that's going down. Incinerate. Energy, 15. Cooldown, 4 seconds. Cooldown, 3 seconds. After 1.5 sec- uh, after 7. 5. Deathwing flaps his wings, dealing 88 damage to nearby enemies. And that's my other form stuff, because I am currently in destroyer form. I have borne witness to the truth. And it's true, we might have other scaling at other levels, so we may be able to knock out the scaling. And plus, I'm not sure about these minions here if they are scaling to the minute we're at my level what exactly the minions are scaled to in the try mode oh it's kind of like a <laughs> i do a little jump i thought it was like a front more like i was thinking like alex straza where i would do a little wing buffet but i just deal a damage pop around me and what then happens Flaps his wings dealing damage near my enemy 15 energy Oh, okay. So on my minions, then, I guess I could give them a big old breathy breathe. And then when it starts to get a little spicy, I can head in for the pop with my last little bit of energy. Because I'll have 15 pretty fast. That'll be three seconds out. So by the time I could even molten flame again. But otherwise, what do, what do I want this for? I guess because hero damage, I'll do more. Getting that double damage in. I 
no doubt being unstoppable at all times and being big, I will be surrounded. And maybe some infernal shrinesery. I could get a big old pop out. I will tear your the dawn of my new world approaches to be blasted to Onslaught. <laughs> it's got little teeth. It's got his jaw on it. Energy, 20. Cooldown, 5 seconds. All really short cooldowns. All energy based. 20, so this is actually our most expensive. Except for, of course, Molten Flame is our big spender. After 0.5 seconds, Deathwing lunges. Really, that's a pretty big lunge. If that whole thing is the lunge. Dealing damage to enemies, slowing them by 35% for 2 seconds, non-decaying. That's nice. Deathwing bites enemies at the end of his lunge, dealing additional damage. Oh, so so the, the graphic there is actually the... A bite. So I could overbite? Well, you know, under he is an underbite, but you know, I could bite over somebody all Imperious style and not deal the bonus damage. So do I get both or do I... Ah, nice little crit there at the end, dealing additional damage. Oh, I see. 83. Well, that would be 166. So am I dealing lunge damage and bite damage? This realm Looks like it. Looks like I get both. Yeah. So you can do both at the proper range. So hello, minions. But if I were to go... Probably not the fastest wind-up of them all, but... It can be done in one big energy pile. We are level two now, though. Things will change slightly. Our heroic doesn't change between forms. Does change between forms. It should all be cataclysm. But let's go ahead and hit the form change button. And scream about it like dinosaurs do. I know he's a dragon, but I love all the dinosaur touches they've done. And this cute little sit. So it looks like cataclysm is our heroic regardless of form, and we maintain the Molten Breath. Cooldown, 90 seconds. Cooldown, 90 seconds. Interesting. So when we started the game, started the try mode, we were on a more Ragnarosian cooldown of something like three minutes. So they're making sure at the 90 second mark, you're not casting your very first Cataclysm. After two seconds, Deathwing flies in the target direction, dealing damage, on impact and leaving scorch ground dealing damage per second last six seconds oh oh my those wings are handsome now this doesn't cost any energy does it no so you could look at that oh that's really cool that's really solid well done on the wing bit oh look at that look at that little angle he popped that's not just a dragon flying. That's got, a, that's got some attitude to it. He's a brute. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty badass. That looks great. Oh, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty sick. Okay. I don't know the exact timer of the load up. We'll definitely check that out. So damage, or calculating, calculating. Wow, six seconds is a long time in a MOBA. I mean, granted, you know, people stand in all sorts of things. Maybe they won't stand in everything we do. That's pretty awesome, though. So as of right now, you know, let's say. We're just complete soap glutton. We don't really care the fact that it's a heroic. It doesn't cost any mana anyway. It's not a 90 second cooldown. You know, who wouldn't want to use their 90 second cooldown for lane clear? <laughs> no. No, it won't pull it off. Have to get in there more. Well, it didn't cost us any energy, so we could always... We could always use a breath on it on the other side. All three of these basic abilities require energy. The heroic is energy free. So we can do something like this and then be like, lane clear. It's 
perfect. Look at that. Probably no last hit. So we've been talking a lot, a lot about ITN. Oh, wait. Oh, because my cooldowns are toggled, my energy is into that. Okay. How's this look on a building? Well, it hurts. There's my armor breaking. And a little spark. And I'm dead. I'm very dead. Teleport out pretty quickly. Oh, that makes sense because you couldn't have a giant Deathwing body flapping around the map. So they go ahead and teleport you out pretty damn. Pretty damn quickly. That makes sense. Let's go to our other form. And load up into that. Lava Burst. Energy, 20. Cooldown, 6 seconds. All these are really short cooldowns, so it's all just energy management. After 1 second delay, deal damage to all enemies in an area, creating a pool of magma. Dealing damage per second. Slowing enemies by 35%, so the same amount of slow we have with our bite. You don't have to choose between a more powerful slow. <laughs> Gosh, that's pretty damn bad, too. Damn. Dragging it back like that. Ah, I like that. I like that. Oh, nice little, nice little lava business on the side there. So not a lot. Maybe more of a... Actually, the range on this thing is crazy compared to his eyes. But you know. I wonder if they put the three scratches in there because of the diva thing. They're memers over there. On the hero's team. I bet you they did. Or maybe it was a symbol of him already, but then they used it for Diablo, so they know they messed up. Somebody messed up at some point. Either way, it's great. I love it. Looks great. Handsome. So some area denial, perhaps. But what if I wanted to, like... Let's say I want to do some area denial for a... Six seconds slow. How long does the slow last? Enemies in the area. So I assume if you leave it, the slow leaves. So let's say I want to hit that. And that lasts for six seconds, and I want to bite somebody. Turn off our cooldowns. Let's say I want to launch somebody, explode, switch over, create a pool of lava. Eh, it's pretty clunky. Something bad happened to me when I form switch and damage. Does anyone, do these buildings care? Oh, no, no. No, I can still do that pretty quickly. Let's get a fresh Deathwing. All right. Fresh death wings ready. Uh, let's uh let's clear. Clear the terrain. Jump it. We're in try mode after all. One ability left. Earth shatter. Cooldown 12 seconds. So here's our longest cooldown. 25 energy. Create a fissure of earth that deals damage. Enemies hit and stuns them for 0.75 seconds. So not a rock and stun. Does it cross? No. So if I position perfectly, this guy will not be stunned, perhaps? Oh no, he was stunned. So there's plenty of coverage. For the person right in front of me to be stunned. Let's see how far we gotta back up to miss this guy. Yeah. Based on the lava. And the damage comes with the lava. Now I'm really missing this guy. I'm kind of on top of him, though. Interesting. I like the little handprints that are left from you smacking the ground so hard. I am curious if we're going to aim this kind of silly. Like, if I want to hit the guy right in front of me, I'm going to cast sideways because that's my most reliable way to hit. That or I make him make an interesting decision. Okay, yes. What's the load up on... Does this match my breath? No, those don't match up at all. So I could use Lava Burst to create a zone. And then as they run out of that zone, I deal damage. 
So this guy is not moving currently, but we would put it on him. He would want to bail in a number of directions, but ideally in the scenario left or right, and I would cause him to hit one of the stuns by scaring him them in that way. That's true. There is another heroic, the fear. We'll get to that in the talents here soon. And that stun is not long enough for me to form shift or anything else like that. So I guess my best combo here, and the load up on this is so long. That I'm not really going to zone anybody. So my real goal here, get them to maybe run out. And that would slow them too. So ideally, I mean, they you learn like Kerrigan, you would learn to run the correct direction. But it could be interesting. What's my load up of a stun into a... Yeah, no, you're, de you're definitely not stunned at that point. Cool. Let's dive in to level one. And let's go ahead and reset our level so we're not... Oh, actually, no, we have one more thing. We, 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 we didn't even check out the dance. Oh, wait, I'm dragon flying. Oh, this is my... My dragon vision? 45 seconds. After three seconds, fly into the sky, becoming immune to all effects and gaining 2.5 health per second. Once can't... <laughs> I'm growling up here. Wait, do I have abilities while up here? What's this business? Uh, once cast, this ability cannot be interrupted. Cannot be cast for four seconds after taking damage. Basic attacks or casting abilities. What's going on here after I, I slam the ground? Very cool. And I have another button. Oh, the, these are my forms. Oh, I get to choose which form I land in. But do I... I slam the ground either way. Either way, we slam the ground when we land. Destroyer form, dealing damage. World breaker form, dealing damage. Looks like this doesn't stun or anything like that, but you can begin casting those three seconds after landing. Oh! Really? We have toggle cooldown. We cannot land where we don't have sight. So I require sight to go wherever I'm going. Like, come on in. And yeah, I'm on a big old global cooldown, which actually doesn't feel that long by the time you decide your positioning and all that. So there's the timer on it. Every time I take damage... I am reset and I cannot fly away. And I deal damage. I'm reset and I can't fly away. Looks like that doesn't affect anything. This is delayed damage, so... Let's see what happens there. Interesting. So he uses abilities. Basic attacking or casting abilities. So it's not the fact that I'm dealing damage at all. So I could put out a zone... Maybe that scares them off, and then I could fly away in four seconds. I can damage this guy, and it goes, and I'm already on cooldown to two seconds by the time that damage is dealt. So I could, in theory, then cast a big old breath. Oh no, I'm currently casting an ability. So when the ability ends with the Molten Flame, I then and am on four second Dragonflight cooldown. Okay, that's interesting, because what I was thinking there was that you could do a thing where you sort of lane clear, right? You find your thing, find the lane, you're like, bubbles! And then you're like, a And then you could fly away immediately. But instead, you're stuck in that lane for four seconds, and then we can go into the air. That's pretty neat. What is... Oh, yes, right. We have multiple deaths now. I'm not sure. He's the aspect of death? He's a dragon aspect? But no, he's a destroyer, right? He's, his name is Deathwing. He is Deathwing the Destroyer. He's an aspect dragon. But I don't think he is an aspect of death. I have no idea if he's part of the Black Dragon's flight. Or if he's part of any flight. 
or if he's just if dragon aspects aren't part of flights because alex Draz is part of the red dragon flight right but the black dragons are all about time or something i don't i don't, I don't know no wait no the, the the gold ones are all about time the black ones are messing with time though he was an aspect of earth that's kind of neat which is why he was like shattering the earth and stuff and like living underground and deep home and what okay i don't pretend to understand it all yeah that, that's not a lot of lane glare the black dragon flight was supposed to be the protector of azeroth oh well they didn't do too well or at least they found other hobbies so it seems like just from our preliminary testing here that our just our world breaker form has better lane clear because of the lava burst but it also has our earth shatter cc which i'm not really sure i, I understand why they're divided up because they didn't want to give the CC form with a slow and a stun the lunge. Because the lunge is going to be your only mobility. So by putting that on your other form, you're making sure that the mobility form has the AoE ability. But still, a world breaker seems really nice and cool. Why wouldn't I want CC? Unless I'm running away the whole time or needing to use that little bit of mobility and in infernal shrine situation what exactly is this incinerate gonna do why would i want incinerate so it's a bigger area wouldn't it be better to just zone control and then use my decent auto attack to knock this whole thing out that's where i'm unsure Doing that, doing that puppy dance. I actually haven't looked at these yet. I mean, he looks great. He's a handsome dragon right there. You will learn to show risk. <laughs> Just in the middle of your business. Just getting down with that butt wiggle. Cutie. Okay. Dragon soul. Oh my goodness. Okay, talents are going to affect multiple forms. Dragon Soul. Destroyer. Incinerate. Destroyer, incinerate. Destroyer, incinerate. Incinerate. Okay, we enhance our incinerate. That sounds good because incinerate isn't very good at the moment. Heals Deathwing for 75% of the damage dealt to enemy heroes. Oh, well, that seems like a reason to cast incinerate now. I like that. So let's lose a little health only to heroes though but all the same we are My hatred. i mean that, that's nice level one not gonna get healed by your team pop yourself up world breaker lava burst explosion damage heals death wing for 150 percent of the damage dealt so that would just be the world breaker lava burst so the pop at the start that, I mean, that's, you know, that's a nice touch. I really like Lava Burst anyway, so why not? Why not enjoy Lava Burst more? Yeah, 97, but still, that's not the one I'm concerned about enhan enhancing. I'm concerned about enhancing Incinerate. So great, awesome, perfect. Molten Blood. While Deathwing has three or more armor plates, he heals for 0.4 of his maximum health per second. Okay. When I have three or more of my plates, though. And I do not regenerate plates. So I can go... Right? Let's actually see. Let, let's go to... Well, I guess we always have ten armor. We can drink from a well, correct? lap it up yes 
So my armor, even though I'm going to go into the next armor zone, does not regenerate. So which means it has three or more armor plates. That's interesting. We have to go into the sky. To regenerate armor. Now, what's my guesswork here? I guess I don't really know what armor I'm at yet. So I'm getting 13 a second. And is this... And it's going to keep going regardless of if I'm taking damage. That's nice. So am I currently in my third armor plate? Yes. Okay, so I have one armor plate all the time no matter what. Now I'm at two, and I do not have... Molten blood. Mortals will know real power. If you hearth then Z back to lane, how long does it take? Well, that's a good question. Because if I were to fly into the air, we would be spending this amount of game time. So we're at. We're waiting. And we have now reached 10 seconds in the air. And we're covering health, but it's not very fast. So it seems like getting to a... Now 20 seconds. Getting to a hearth and then flying out would probably be the better alternative. We have now been in the air for 30 seconds. Now, granted, your hearth is 6 seconds and your fly is 3 seconds. But it seems like a better idea. And do I get to insta-fly? No, I don't get to insta-fly. Oh, there's no instant mounting. Yeah, it says here. Here, here, here. It says somewhere. Check an aspect. 25 health lost. Flying. It's my flying. 2.5% per second. I can heal at the well here. And actually, that's a good question. Do I heal? Is it an allied something or other? Because I can use the well. But do I heal when I hearth? Because that changes it quite a bit. Hearth and back. Oh. Okay. So there's your counterplay. There's no tomfoolery there. We were not cool bros figuring that out. We still gotta go in the air for an extended period of time. And get healed up. Wow, you're gone for a bit. I mean, you know. Murky's gotta run back from his egg, but... Yeah, I can't go just jumping in here. It's not like you'd want to, because what's, what's here for you? And now you're on a 45-second cooldown. That's pretty intense. Back in that lane. I'm sure there's ways you can reduce it as time goes on. Yeah, no, you're def there's definitely going to be someone that's like, hang on, objective time, I'm going to go soak top real quick. And then much like that Brightwinger, Dahaka, they're going more like Dahaka. They're going to be isolated up there for the whole first half of the objective. But I, I'm glad you can't trick it. I'm glad we have to deal with it in the game's terms. But, you know, I still get to land wherever there's sight, so. Interesting, though. And I'm still stuck up here for a minimum of eight seconds. Which is actually kind of, that's, that's luxurious. I like that. Because now, now I don't have to be like, okay, mini-map, do the, now the death wing. Okay, in the death wing, over here, bam. That's why I, you know, I don't like playing Dahaka, but for many reasons. Mainly just tongue is disappointing, because I miss all the time. But, it's also just kind of like, oh, I don't want to have to, you know, like, be that busy. So now I'm required to, like, get eight seconds of luxurious real estate shopping. To figure out where I'm going to go. I like it. 
Could have value through Abba Mines, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Flare with uh, Rexar, that's true. You could set up a nice, the Deathwing spot. I mean, with Rexar, you can permanently keep that thing recast if you keep on it. Draconic Might. Deathwing's basic attacks against enemy heroes heal him for 40% of the damage dealt. Upon losing an armor plate, Deathwing becomes protected for 0.75. Well, that's very interesting. I mean, particularly if everyone's, you know, getting stoked on you. And this isn't tied to his armor plate. This is against heroes, though. I mean, if they're all going to be in your business... Burning you all Taika style. It's not a bad thing to delay that out a little bit. I love the two claws fight attack. So beautiful. So d and D. I I love it. And you're in the air, so you can yell at Lunara all you want to move that wisp. Because you've got nothing but eight seconds of time to type at her. Neat. Real well, no real synergies because it's level one. But I really like Dragon Soul because it gives me a reason to cast Incinerate. And that's actually a nice little pop heal. Infernus. When Molten Flame is cast at 75 energy or higher, its damage is increased by 75 against heroes. That's that's kind of cool. It's even glowing for me. I mean, who doesn't like just seeing a whole bunch of crits? This is false and needs to reset. Correct? Right? Like, I'm not insane there. That, that was false and did need to reset. Correct? No! Wow! Really? Okay, I'm damaging two. Let's 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 cool let's cool our jets and cast it on one thing. That's I mean that's pretty handsome, but we have to be at 75% energy and with a hundred value, we can't add an onslaught to it. Right, so you have to get CC from some other source. We can't supply our own CC in this case. Because it would cost us 20 to get the slow that we would then want to breathe upon. Actually, does that regenerate fast enough? I mean, we're doing we're doing a decent pick of energy. Might be actually able to pull it off. We hit glow at 75. The dog. Yeah, it, it clicked fast enough. So we could pull it off. Okay, I mean, how long are they slowed? Two seconds. Two seconds in my big handsome breath is a lot of damage. Let's get, uh, get somebody out here. Let's get, uh, and we'll just beat up on Arthur. Arthas, you should update your level. There we go. Who will be the first to be Let's give it a shot. We'll slow him and then breathe on him. Now, of course, he could, you know, go places. Like, straight through me. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. That's a nice little combo. Real power. I like that. Granted, now you are using Molten Flame. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're in Destroyer form. What about 20? 25. Okay, so there's the protection, it seems. Maybe it is Earth Shatter. Wait, is this person correctly? Hold on. I have borne witness to the truth. Because this should be costing me 25, right? 25. Oh, 25 to 70. It is 75. I, okay, yes. Okay, cool. So as long as I don't cast 
Earthshaker, and Lava Burst, I have more than enough energy to maintain a Sweet Molten Flame. Only a 0.5 se- what was this? This lasts for six seconds? Oh, no one's talking to you, Google. So, this is probably my better chance. And how long's the loadout? 1.5 seconds. Yeah, so, so none of these are perfect. But either way, you can cast one CC ability and then an enhanced breath. And that's, that's pretty neat. Heat wave. Oh, this was cute. Despite my own confusion, it's cool that you can cast one of your CC abilities before you get to Molten Flame. I still like that dragon soul bullet. Oh, here we go. Incinerate. It's the thing that stinks and I want to enhance anyway. After hitting enemy hero with incinerate, Deathwing deals 19 damage per second to all nearby enemies for 8 seconds. Stacking up to 4 times. Stacking up to 4 times. Well, it's a 4 second cooldown. And it lasts 8 seconds. Increase the explosion damage of Lava Burst. Well, Lava Burst... Explosion is what's going to heal me when I'm in World Breaker form. So this seems like the perfect stack for what I want to do. Does the... Well, this part is healing me to damage dealt. So does that mean when I have an aura on me? We can just ignore Arthas. He can't slow me. I'm unstoppable. I am not... Healing for the dot damage. It said this stacked, right? It stacks four times. It doesn't appear that I'm. Oh, wait, is it 90? Doesn't seem like I'm stacking. Looks like it started at 75. Hit a hero. The dawn my new world yeah. Approaches. Wait, I hit four targets. Oh. That makes way more in yes. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> perfect name for for a correction, dude man guy. Yes. There we go. Okay. Now I'm at yeah. Alright, I get it, I get it. Yeah, and then uh, we aura and we get more and perfect. Okay. All the same. The dot damage does not heal me. Damage dealt by incinerate. So the pop, get a little health, but this does not heal me. That'd be incredible if it did. But we did increase the damage of my explosion, so I should be healed for much more doing that. And that does seem to be the case. There is no human form in London. There is only the dragon. There is only big boy. My two forms are destroyer and world breaker, which I switched to to get more basic ability. Choose a talent. Dragon's Ire. While Deathwing has three or fewer. Oh. Armor plates. His damage is increased by 30%. Well, that sounds like something we'll need some math on to figure out. But here's three or more. So there is a sweet spot at three. So basically above half health. Where we would have regeneration and 30% more damage. Is it all damage? Damage is increased. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. It is not all a damage. Oh, wait. No, no, no. no, no, no. We need to go lose. Yes. We need to go lose plates. We got to go lose a plate. We want to keep our regen. So now we have regen. And we also are enhanced by Dragon's Ire. And it is auto attack.
problem with anything but Heat Wave and Dragon Soul is I still don't really know what to do with my Incinerate. And it's such a beautiful ability, I want to cast it. So let's keep going. Let's see if there's anything else handsome waiting for us later. Yeah, look at that. So it is a pretty long cooldown there when we first go. So let's just get over the wall here. Why didn't they put his form change on D? I don't know. They really like the one button. I'm not really sure why they don't do that with a lot of things. Maybe there's a D something waiting for us down the line. Maybe it makes balancing things easier if they do add a trade button later. I don't, I don't know. Choose a talent. But either way, I'm interested in this Dragon Soul heat wave Choose business at the moment. Firestorm. When Deathwing lands, he drops seven meteors in a nearby area. Or in a, yeah. Damage. Heroes hit by the mirror reduce Dragonflight's cooldown by 12 seconds. Meteors prioritize landing on heroes. Otherwise, they fall randomly. Perfect. Well, that's what you'd want. You would want to. So we fly. Oh, we don't have any sight. Okay. We don't have any sight of the area in which to land. An allied healing dummy does not have sight. So we'll have to land on top of Arthur. So they come in after the fact. And deal damage. Currently, we're on shorter cooldown because we toggled cooldown. Let's give this another go. Back in the air. Well, we got some time off. Dragon Slice cooldown by 12 seconds. Hit by meteors, reduce the cooldown. Oh, well, without just landing on top of a whole lot of everybody, kind of hard to. Yeah, they didn't do any damage really. Like if we were to, you know, we're gonna take this. I mean, 86 isn't a lot, and it deals less, well, more damage to heroes. But all the same, you know, we, if you're gonna take a talent where you rain down meteors. You're thinking like, man, I'm going to land and I'm going to mess up everybody. You don't mess up everybody. So I guess the big goal would be dropping in on a team fight and being able to leave. So Infernal Shrines, everyone's grouped up. You fly in, you land on top of everybody. You win the team fight. Because you landed on everybody, you can then fly and go soak a distant lane or push something to your heart's content. Having participated in said team fight first. Hard to tell here in try mode. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Death drop. Hitting enemy hero with destroyer or world breaker landing damage reduces their spell armor by 15 for 6 seconds. And Deathwing's basic ability cooldown by 2 seconds. Deathwing's basic ability cooldown? Oh! Oh, I see. Because when you land, you go on cooldown. We're just going to speed through the landing part here. But you are here, and you land, and you're stuck on a three-second global cooldown. So by taking Death Drop, you would reduce their armor by 15. But you would also give yourself a chance to cast spells that much faster. That's a good question. Do I get instant ability? Well, let's, let's just see the two seconds here on Arthas. Cool. Yep. And we get to get to the business while he has minus armor. That's actually you know, a decent amount of time. Six seconds with minus armor. So let's get some Lost Vikings out here. What, they're not the? All the sites I have to put the in? All right. No. Oh, extra tricky. All right, come on out, Lost Vikings. And get landed on. Here we go. No. So the text is by two seconds. And there's no per hero. But you know what? While we're here, let's see if we can feel that Firestorm business. Let's 
toggle cooldowns just to jump through that. Okay, now we're on the appropriate. Let's land on them. There you go. So I got a bunch of cooldown reductions for meteors hitting heroes. And yes, it's a lot. So I can't auto attack. I can't cast an ability, including I'm completely locked out. You can see here it keeps resetting itself while I'm casting this and continue on. And if I take any damage, I can't fly away. Is that really how it were? I mean, that Firestorm just got a lot more handsome. Granted, we're landing on three heroes, but... And, you know, it looks good versus the Lost Vikings here. Because they have low health. But that actually was pretty cool. I've got cooldown going right now in the background. Now I've got to wait for them to get into sight, though. So maybe there is actually some logistics errors here that are tough to do. But we land. And we're basically on cooldown. That's pretty cool. You are less than dust. What else you got here? Choose a talent. Skyfall. Charge cooldown 10 seconds. After using Dragonflight, Deathwing can drop meteors anywhere within vision dealing damage. Has three charges. The hero is hit. Deathwing heals for 5% of his max health and reduces his landing cooldown by 1.5 seconds. His landing cooldown? What's a landing cooldown? It sounds like a, it's kind of like a Leoric minigame. I'm dead and now I get to <laughs> I get to shoot. Oh, as in my landing cooldown. Oh, I see. And what else do I get? Oh, I get health. So I could... Really? So I have this little mini game where I... Okay, and then I'm on rather long cooldown. But all the same. Alright. Well, let's, let's lose some health. And see what it feels like. To get 5% health. Per little mini missile. Mess me up, Lost Viking. Keep it going. I want to lose that last one. Come on. Oh, I got a... There we go. I broke. Okay. Into space. Here we go. Alright. Regenerating health. Oh, you know that? I mean, that helps. And I am increasing the speed in which I can land. So it has an option when I'm even at full health. That's a cute idea. Oh, you could use it to interrupt, but you'd still have to have sight. So you need somebody in the area, unless, of course, the objective is giving sight by nature of them doing it. So that's interesting. So it could be a specific for certain objectives. So right now, these are all pretty unique, and it's a required flight level. Skyfall is pretty cute, but Firestorm, well, I guess we'd make a situational choice. That's right, the Cursed Hollow, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could do it there too. That's a cute idea. It's a cute idea. Get some health. Keep busy. We're going to mess with all these XP orbs in a little bit here. I'm very curious about them as well. Level 10. Burn beneath my shadow. Cool quote. When an enemy fort or keep is destroyed, the cooldown of Cataclysm is reset. Cataclysm's periodic damage is increased by 150%. Neat. Seems like an interesting... Thing to do. None can stand in my way. I mean, how how much building damage are we talking here? Like, if I let's say I spent my ult and I came in and was like, "Oh, you know, get out of here, Lost Vikings." Okay, let's see. Let's get it to half health, maybe. What's it? What's an ult look like at half health? Killing We're not really rocking the building with our ult, but we don't have to kill it with the ult. I'm just curious. My hatred burns. 
Well, what do we, what did, did, I took death drop. Okay, I want Skyfall at the moment, but it doesn't matter. Let's get a fresh death wing. A killing blow. Your killing spree has ended. Do I get the reset if I do not destroy it? Or do I need to last hit, you know, last hit at destroying forts or keeps refreshes the duration? Let's see if we can get a ally hero. Like Sergeant Hammer. Give her some minions. Get rid of the enemy hero. And let's experiment if AI Sergeant Hammer in any sort of speed is going to help out. And I can wear this thing down a little more. Alright, let's get out of here. We have not delivered damage to this thing in quite some time. Sergeant Hammer, if you will. Interesting. Oh, so you're looking for some more Towers of Doom viability. That's very interesting. Could you just go... <laughs> Could you, like, prep them? Like, go around and just basically prep a bunch of forts and, like, Olaf, knock out the top fort for me. Wow. All right, Eric. Get the middle fort. Wow. Uh, let's see that. That's a good question. Does Q outrange? Well, we are currently in tower range, but you know, let's. Oh, we can outrange towers. Let's see if we squeeze up on this. Yeah, you sure can. I mean, you're not moving fast. But you can outrange the buildings. You can totally Li Ming disintegrate those buildings. If you so choose. Yeah, no, it's not a lot of damage. Not a rocking amount. Well, I mean, that it's, it's very interesting on paper. It seems tough to control. But, you know, in coordinated play, if you're like, let's not kill the fort now, I'm on cooldown. Or you see a four getting killed, so you get crazy, realizing you could then use Cataclysm to escape. I guess that that thought interests me the most. Because if we had a very weak fort, I could make the choice of, I'm going to engage really deep guys. Bam, blah, blah, you take care of the fort, guys. I'm back here. I'm zoning the team like, wah. And then I have a get out of jail card while being unstoppable. It's an interesting thought. Yeah, you don't have to be anywhere near it. We just let Her uh, let uh, Sergeant Hammer here take this out. So you could globally coordinate a. I mean, probably like if you're like really cheesing, I guess you could do six in a row, seven with the first cast, right? But really, more likely you're gonna do you know you could do three. You really like wore them down. And on Towers of Doom. There is a strategy where you prep those and then destroy them, turn them in for that upcoming objective. Be the first so that's a cute idea. Could you? I mean, let, let, let's actually say that. We're going to take some quite a, quite a bit of damage here, but... I mean, you could cheese ball, but I don't think the... I think it's going to take a lot of work. I think it'll take you take you longer than your average Genji. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Certainly Nazebo is going to be a bit faster than you. I like that. I, that's a handsome icon. Bellowing roar on the two button. After one second, Deathwing unleashes a mighty roar. And it's separate from your R. Dealing damage. Causing them to run in fear. I mean, that's the dream I want to live. Now, it's cute with the fort coordination, but what I really want to do 
is I want to have a whole enemy team. Come on out here. Uh, and where, 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 where are you, Lost Vikings? Come on out. Oh, I guess I turned them off. And then, yeah. Give them a, give them a fear in it. And ideally, they are feared back through your flame. Now, you know, what's the viability of that happening? That's a whole... That's a whole nother bag of tricks. Well, you know, let's see. Let's just see generally. Here they come. The Lost Vikings, ladies and gentlemen. We fly in, and they try to escape, but I'm a badass, and we... That's the dream. His layer action? I'm all for a Yod. Absolutely. Instead of heroic? Call it his layer action. 13 awaits us. So still digging this situational level. I want to use Bellowing Roar. Like we have some more Q build though. Molten Flame. Energy cost per second is reduced by 10. After using Molten Flame, Deathwing's energy gains 15 over 3 seconds. So more Molten truth. Flames more often, and longer it's Molten Flames available. Oh, we're currently toggling cooldown. So for a little bit, your energy is booking. Which, in your other forms, doesn't make as much sense here. Because I was thinking earlier that if we wanted to do a slow, if we wanted to do a... Well, that's for the stun. If we're going to do that, and then you stun around it, because they're going to run out of the slow. But there is actually some viability now to doing the queue while we're in destroyer form. If we're in destroyer form, we have access to the gallop, the onslaught. And likely, if we're going to be doing some standing in one place for a very long time, there's going to be a lot of things that are coming after us. So the idea that we could use this to the full extent and then have very quickly an E after it sounds like a pretty good idea. Wind up is certainly the, something they could change. I don't, I think at this point, they know they can speed up animations there, and we're probably ready for it. Some animations got sped up, and some things still look weird in the game, but I bet you they're aware of that. And that's definitely part of their power pie they could switch around. So we got the Infernus. When we're at high energy, we deal more damage. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. And then we regenerate some energy. It's interesting. Feels like just relying on your team and Choose doing CC talent. train, not something Choose I'm exactly talent. gonna invest in while learning him. Runination. Destroyer. The bite from Onslaught now slows by 60%. That's nice. 60% slows are great. World Breaker. Reduce Earth Shatter's cooldown by 6 seconds and its energy cost by 10. Now what? Earthshaker cooldown. So we're at 12, so now we're going to be 6 instead. Okay, so more often. It's an expensive ability, but we reduce its energy cost by 10. Why would that matter? What about our math here? Because now we have 20. We'd be able to cast one sooner after we do Lightning Breath, but why? Or not lightning breath, that's Diablo, Molten Flame. It's a nice feature, but I'm not really sure why I would want it. The destroyer thing's nice, though. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Fire and Fury. Basic attacks against rooted, slowed, or stunned enemy heroes. Deal 30% additional damage and reduce the cooldown of Deathwing's basic abilities by 0.5 seconds. Okay. So he's Alarak. 
It's a cool idea. You could very well be playing around alongside an Arthas and the like. Get some damage in. Rooted Slaughter Stunt. So you, you could trigger this yourself if you're hanging out. Particularly in Lava Burst Land. The Lava Burst Land. Which would allow me to do more Lava Burst. So, Lava Burst Land? This is like my CC chain. And I'm reducing my own cooldowns. So I can cast more of these. Because I'm being a mobile auto attacking basic attack guy. And since I'm basic attacking so much, I'm not reliant on my energy. I'm reliant on my cooldown. So reducing my cooldowns means that I can basic attack more. And we'd save Q for things like big lane clears or whatever. Kind of nice. I don't know how often my big, big dragon body is going to get to sit around auto attacking without somebody punishing me for it. But neat. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Conflagration. Deal 600 damage while Molten Flame. Enemy here. Wait, what? With Molten Flame, two enemy heroes. With four seconds. Cause. Oh, so if you take 600 damage. Over four seconds, within four seconds, they burn. They get a dot on them for four additional seconds. While burning, they explode every one second, <laughs> dealing damage to all nearby enemies. That, that's a, a handsome addition to our queue. So here they all are, are all, all toasty, right? You guys are toasty, right? I thought you guys would be toasty. Causes them to burn. Oh, maybe I maybe I did it for too long. Causes you to burn. While burning. You have taken more than the required damage. Why aren't you in hideous screaming pain? You should be exploding. Dealing damage to all nearby. Let, let's try it on Lost Vikings. To the truth. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's get someone who's not Lost Vikings. Because they died too fast. But we saw the dot. It's just not working on the target dummy. Killing spree. Target dummies are under-affected. Awesome. Who will be the first to be blasted to ash? There we go. Okay. But he is currently on fire and exploding in the area. That is pretty handsome. That's kind of neat. Because that... Now they're punished for being in it for any amount of time. So we've got doesn't really matter here there's no talent for it but we have more damage at higher energy which means if we hit them early on that's a lot of damage doesn't matter here doesn't matter here oh well, we might be using the fear to make them run in it regenerate because we want to cast more of those and now we deal damage and our yes we would want to be in world breaker form here so we can slow garage nope <laughs> i mean it, it's not a perfect let's see maybe, maybe we can get him to run in a very straight line oh the wind up on that is awful okay anyway he's gonna get hit wow that wind up after one second delay yeah that that's a dream Hey, but here's Garrosh hanging out by a building. Okay. Uh, uh, just for science, I assume that this number goes up as we gain level. Right? It's not always... Yes. So the damage is based on your level. So it won't always be 600 damage. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Well, we have a cute little Q build with, like, the CC team. That's a lot of damage. 
gaze unto destruction. Hitting heroes with destroyer or world breaker landing causes their damage to be reduced by 75% and slowing them for 40% for five seconds. Kind of cute. Kind of cute. Why not just murder them? But you know, if they're winning hard and Deathwing can reduce everybody's damage by 75, you know. That's cute. Elementium plating. Activate to gain a shield equal to 35% of Deathwing's missing health for 8 seconds. While the shield holds, Deathwing regenerates 2% of his maximum health per second. The shield expires or destroyed. Regain armor plates appropriate to the new health. Oh my. The shield and its effects end immediately if Deathwing uses Dragonflight. He is considered a bruiser. Deathwing the bruiser. That's very interesting though because I can regenerate my own armor. Which means all of these early armor based talents. Like Dragon Zire and the like. Suddenly get a lot more interesting. And Gary can't throw me. It's the most enjoyable thing in the world. So, but only if I go over that new amount. So right now I have the passive healing from my early talent pick, Molten Blood. Let's hit our three. And my shield is going, 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 going. Are we going to make it? We did make it. So the shield becomes my new health. It was Zeem. Appropriate to his new health. Well, that's, that's kind of nice. A way to actually regenerate your armor without going into the air. And then they say immediately if you go into the air. So they want you to make sure you're staying on the ground. And what does 20 have for the big boy? Good in the fire. Cute. World of Warcraft. Nice job. Enemy heroes are slowed by 40% while standing in scorched ground and its duration is increased by 50%. That's probably a pretty long time and you get slow so it's burning it's burning it's burning it's burning it's burning oh yeah yeah wow that, yeah, that's a nice long time arrival of a god destroyer or world breaker landing damage is increased by 400 percent definitely also gains the benefit of all his level 7 talents Cool. So you get to shoot little balls of people and heal. You get to land on top of people and reduce their armor. And you get the cooldown reduction. That's that's pretty cool. Death takes flight. So we still get our, yeah, yeah, our little sight-only balls, but still. Neat. And we do massive damage. So let's see what massive 400% damage is. On an ability that was before decently disappointing. Do we get to lane clear in one big go? No. <laughs> Come level 20. We haven't quite figured out insta lane clear. But you know, that's fine. We're using it for other reasons. Plus, you've got uh, the damage reduction, right? Yes. Hitting enemy heroes with the landing causes reduction. So if Gaze Unto Destruction is rocking Choose and kicking talent. butt, Arrival of a God combining and giving you all the level 7s would make your 16 amazing. Destroyer's Rampage. For the next 6 seconds after landing in Destroyer form, only on Destroyer form, Deathwing's damage is increased by 40%. 6 seconds though. And his basic ability cooldowns are 50% faster. Damaging Heroes refreshes this effect. And switching to world breaker form removes the effect so we get uh we get to do damage more damage i i assume that this is not as crunchy as it looks right because right now six seconds after landing and his basic ability cooldowns now if i keep dealing damage i'm refreshing this but it kind of sounds like right now that I will land and be dealing increased damage, but still be stuck with those odd cooldowns. The global cooldown three seconds. This 
There it is. I touched him. I wonder if I get to... Actually, I mean, that would work well with your Q build, wouldn't it? If you could keep going. But I have to damage Hero. So that would increase the value of maybe my... Cooldown reduction. Is it? Dragonfly cooldown... Reduces his landing cooldowns. That sounds like what I'd want if I wanted to do Destroyer's Rampage. There's certainly some ways, like, I mean, you, you combine a 40% with a Fire and Fury 30%. There's some ways to, you know, that could be pretty rocking, particularly with that breath build we were looking at earlier. That's interesting. Situational picks in here. There's a cool way to stack him. If everybody's taking care of all the CC4, you can do a lot of damage, it seems. Particularly with that Q build. But in quick match, we'll probably be picking things that help us sustain ourselves, like shielding all the time. Very interesting. So that's Deathwing. Let's go.